tips while out and about shooting street photography. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. Great to see you guys back once again. Yes, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at tips for street photography. A genre of photography that is absolutely amazing to get into. It's a difficult genre indeed. I've been shooting street photography now for the past four or five years, maybe. Um, first started out in Spain on a holiday where I kind of just started getting into street photography. And I love it. I love going back to this genre. I don't shoot it consistently all the time but it's definitely something where I've got free time. That's the first thing I think about going out and shoot. There's just something raw about street photography, capturing that moment. It really is a special way to photograph, um, difficult and a big, big learning curve. So that's what I'm here for in this video to kind of give you guys some tips that I use when I head out shooting street photography. Now the worst thing you can actually do heading out shooting street photography, personally speaking, is just go out with no idea of what you're gonna shoot and kind of just capture whatever you go around taking random photographs of just random things with no kind of direction and the way i like to do it is i like to pick specific topics whilst heading out on these outings so in the last outing i specifically picked motion within the images and shooting reflections now this is a great way to kind of train your eye to look for these things so if the more you do it every time you go you start seeing these things more and more in certain areas certain places that you might not have looked at before and it's just a great way to start training your eye to see these things whilst you're out and about so like i say just pick two topics that you want to shoot whilst out shooting street photography and i can guarantee that will help train your eye way way better so this video where i headed out around newcastle i deliberately went out just to shoot some motion within the images and reflections so i went around looking for reflections um, in glass windows anywhere i could see a reflection uh, and just started kind of looking for those things and it really does help you narrow your vision down and helps you spot these shots that you kind of probably wouldn't see otherwise um, and also the motion in the images are a really great way as well to kind of add something different to the scene within your street photography now it's not kind of street photography as per se um, but it's more of a using the environment and capturing the environment around you whilst out and about in a complete different unique way um, so like I say when you head out shooting street photography pick a couple at least two topics to try and cover during that period help train your eye it could be anything from shapes shadows uh, light uh, lanes anything you can think of just pick two topics whilst you're heading out and i can guarantee you that will help train your eye whilst out and about and help you develop a really unique look to all of your images and it makes the whole process a lot easier further down the line to kind of discover these things and see them you'll see them as you're walking past things because you've started to train your eye to look for these specific things within your photography so that's my quick tips on street photography i hope it's helped if it has please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and flick the notification bell so you can see when more videos like this are posted thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one see you then